Hey guys, what's up? Um, Alright, so I'm getting ready to start the off-roading season pretty soon. This sprang up on me a couple couple months ago. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a small coolant drip. And my car doesn't overheat. Um, I've been kind of checking the fluids here and there, but let me uh, pop this off real quick and I'll show you what's up. Alright, so I can't really tell where it's leaking from, but uh, I guess it doesn't overheat. And uh, that Volvo fan that I did in a couple other videos is so powerful that this thing doesn't even have a problem cooling this truck off on low speed with half a radiator. So if half the radiator is full and this thing's on low speed, it can still cool this engine off without a problem. So um, I just want to get it fixed because it's right now it's not super hot yet, but it's going to be keeping on getting hotter and hotter. Right now it's spring, it's uh, April 20th, but it's going to keep on getting hotter and hotter. So I want to see if I can figure this out. Um, at least try to figure out where the leak is coming from. It's hard to tell for sure, but you can kind of, well, it's kind of dry now, but it's weird that I only seem to, it's a little bit right there, so I think it's coming. So I can't tell for sure, but it seems like it's coming from the left side. But this is actually like a little cheapo aluminum radiator I got on uh, on eBay. It's actually a 5.0 radiator, so meaning that the inlet and outlets are on different sides. Because I did the uh, serpentine conversion and uh, I had the reverse uh, rotation water pump. So the inlet and outlet have to be on the different sides. Um, yeah, this radiator is probably not even, about a year old, probably, like whenever I did this video, or whenever I did the conversion, is when I got that new radiator. I mean, it wasn't expensive, it was like 150 bucks. But I don't know if I'm gonna sell my soul to the dark side or not here. <laughs> you know, this is like the worst possible thing you can put in your radiator, but, um, like if I can't, get to a place where if I can't repair the radiator or at least get to see a crack that I can fill or fix TIG weld or whatever and I might try this this is like a aluminum seal it looks like it's more of like a powder some kind of fiber powder whereas this one actually looks like it has aluminum flakes in it but dude that scares me let me look at that and that's just asking to clog up a radiator it says it doesn't clog up a radiator but I mean how could putting this stuff in your radiator not clog it up um, look at that. But I, even though, even if I don't use this, I still want to keep... I do actually have some copper seal on the back of my truck as a backup, but I guess I'd rather maybe use this as a backup, you know, because I always pretty much, I like to keep enough water and some sort of sealer, just in case uh, I pop a hole when I'm on the trailer or something, I can just uh, fill it up and hopefully seal a leak, just so I can get home, but... Uh, so I think I'm going to... I'm gonna take my fan off. Yeah, I made this custom bracket here with a couple um, bolts there. I should just be able to pull this forward. And I'm gonna make a like a like a pressure tester. Well I'll see if it fits my rubber rubber thing I have. I used to, I made one for my, my truck here, you know, and so I'm gonna see if I can use my air compressor, put about 16 pounds. That's usually typically what it is. Um, my cap is rated for 16 or 18 pounds, I can't remember, but I'm gonna put some pressure on it and uh, fill up with uh, some distilled water and see if we can find a leak where, where it's coming from. So it's like, if it's like in the center of the core, then I can't do anything about it, you know? I can't, you know, I'm just hoping it's something obvious, but then I might throw in that aluminum seal, maybe. I don't know, I, I was thinking maybe put like a quarter of that bottle, maybe if I had to do that. Just a tiny, I mean, I don't wanna put all that in there, just I just wanna, a super super tiny amount if I had to go this route because you know I don't want all this crap in my cooling system and uh, I don't actually have a heater core I don't have a heater so that's that's will probably help but I just don't know if I want to let junk floating around in my cooling system um, either that or I just got to buy a new radiator so I mean we're super expensive so but if I do have to get a new radiator I might go with copper because the little radiators seem to kind of kind of weak. They look cool because they're all welded and stuff, but, you know. Alright, so, alright. That's an old cap, too. I just, uh, it's 
no idea, dude. Like less than a year, or a year, I don't know, whenever I did that video. So, very, very annoyed. But this actually been doing this so uh, for a couple months already. So that's means that this thing failed within a six about six month period or less. So, all right, all right, guys. So in the previous video, I made this to test my my F two fifty. It's just a piece of rubber I got over Ace Hardware. Some sort of plug. I'm probably gonna, most likely have to plug that up right there. The coolant tank. But uh, now just like a little hose in there. I'm gonna use uh, my little air thing here. this thing to about 16 psi and put like about right there just put that in there and give it some air see so you can figure out where this leak's coming from I have my radiator pulled forward so you can see in there it looks pretty clean yeah this solution is awesome I mean, I've never had to worry about my car overheating again regardless I mean how hot it is so um, yeah this is probably the, one of the better things I've ever done you know the Volvo fan conversion yeah, I have a two stage. I guess I've never even once gone into the second high speed stage. Um, I do actually have the, the dual controller. But, alright. Alright, so I did actually have the block off this thing right here. It was coming through, back through my coolant tank here, the uh, expansion tank. But, alright, let me get the thing back on there. Yeah, it did actually work. But I didn't see any leaks. But we will see. I'm just looking for something obvious. I don't even. This thing obvious it's coming from somewhere. Like I literally don't see anything obvious. So, all right, try it again. All right, guys. So I'm gonna try to hold this and put it on camera at the same time. I have to hold this in there. It pops off. So you can hear it going in there. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> don't want to do that. <laughs> no, that's what I have. So I do with one hand. Try to put it on camera. Just, basically drank a bunch of coolant. Alright. Alright guys, so can't seem to find that leak anywhere man. And that's so you see over there is where it blew up in my face. Still trying to trying to get rid of that sweet taste out of my mouth. <laughs> trying not to swallow any of that shit. <clears throat> yeah I couldn't find it. It's not leaking from anywhere. I can't find it leaking. So why where is that coming from? I don't know that little drip puddle. So It must be tiny, but what's funny is it only seems to happen in the morning. So, like, once I drive it, it um, it doesn't happen. It just I only see it in the morning, and that's it. So, all right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put about a quarter of that in there and see if that makes any difference. At least, maybe you know, yeah, I'm gonna probably just gonna get a new radiator. So, but yeah, I don't want to put that whole thing in there. So. Alright, because the leak is tiny, whatever it is, so. Alright. Alright, guys. About to sell my soul to the devil here. I know this is wrong. <laughs> so you don't have to comment. I know this is like the worst thing you could possibly do. But I just can't find that leak. And, uh. I mean, it's definitely leaking from somewhere. I just pressure tested. I didn't see leaks coming anywhere, so what else do you do? So I'll use half that bottle quarter I'm not sure all right so maybe I'll use a half bottle all right here we go here we go oh, look at that crap I don't know, this is hard to handle. Yeah, that's all I'm going to use. I'm not going to use more than that. It's probably about a third of the can. Alright. Alright guys. So I said to let this thing idle for like 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to do that for a little bit. And so when I was at the store, I decided to get some, uh, I think I already showed you this, but I also decided to get um, this home has been an extra clamp to put in the back of the truck. You know, after that, um, the last video when I burst that high pressure hose and the uh, power steering pump, um, I mean, that same thing can happen with my transmission or my fuel line. So I decided, I mean, because it's, it's a braided hose, I can at least cut it and mend the hose. You know, if I can actually cut it somewhere, 
like by the transmission cooler hose is like right there. If this thing burst on me, or my long fuel line, which is a great hose like that, <laughs> I'd be able to fix it on the fly, I guess, hopefully. But, uh, God, I hate putting that shit on my radiator. But, uh, it's either this or a new radiator. Alright.